Mikhail, congratulations on making your test debut for the West Indies. Uh, how proud are you to get to this point? Well, it's been a long journey. I've worked really hard leading up to this. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm elated. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to go out there and perform tomorrow. You've had a terrific first class season, put the runs on the board. Do you feel confident that you can continue that form going into your test debut? Well, what worked for me in the first class season was my work ethic. I was training really hard and I wasn't leaving anything to chance. I was putting in a lot of effort in the gym, in practice. And I'm doing the same thing here, so I'm hoping for the same results. And first, St Kitts, test cricketer as well. That must be a, a proud moment. Yeah, the, um, the Kittishan people, they're really happy. They reached out to me on numerous occasions. Um, they feel really proud that I've been selected and I'm just hoping to go out there and perform and, you know, we, um, represent the country well. Well, Philip has told me that your mum is one of the biggest um, supporters of West Indies cricket. So I can imagine how she is at this particular moment. You know, can you tell me what contribution she's made to you, to you, to your cricketing career uh, as an inspiration? And, and then she's here in England to watch you play your first test. Yeah, she's actually already in England. I'll probably be seeing her later today after we finish training. Um, she's really excited, she's really happy. And I know it's very cliche for a young man to say, you know, um, I love my parents and I'm, and I'm grateful, but honestly, she's an angel and there isn't anything that she wouldn't do for me. When I've been injured, she would massage me. And days I'll finish training late, she would cook for me. And, you know, she just, she really gave the word to us. Oh yeah, and Craig has put a sort of marker on you. He said that his advice to you is not just to play, but aspire to being a, a, a huge success, make 30 test centuries. Have you spoken to him a lot and what's he been telling you? Well, from since the first day I arrived, um, me and him have been having long conversations because he's somebody I look up to and he's somebody um, I really respect because of what he has done for the West Indies cricket. And, you know, I've been asking him many questions and he's been like an open book to me. So we've had many um, discussions and conversations and he, he didn't tell me that, but yeah. And uh, I remember in age group cricket, you didn't make the cut on one occasion. You, you, you were in the, in the setup, but you didn't make the team. And I remember people were saying that not that it was a mistake, but it probably would inspire you. Now you've basically leapfrogged a lot of those guys that made that those teams. You know, like, what have you been doing in recent years that has led to this success? Because you're virtually unknown, but you, be, everybody knew from age group you could play. So what have you been doing differently that has really catapulted you to this point? Well, I would like to start off answering this question by really giving my family thanks. So I have a family structure where I have an older brother, Jerry St. Louis, and my father as well, Jerry Louis. Um, they allowed me to train 24-7 without worrying about bills and worrying about having to buy groceries and so forth. So this really allowed me to, you know, I didn't have to work an 8 to 4 job and then practice in the evening. So I was able to train 24-7, go to the gym and so forth. And so this is what really helped me and, you know, they really gave me the push to really be great. And, um, I mean, they don't put an impression on yourself. Um, and everybody you knows Jimmy's last match and he's an outstanding bowler. But, you know, what are you thinking about your own game tomorrow, you know, and, and in your mind, where are you as you prepare to make your debut? Well, leading up to the first class season, um, I was a little nervous because I was wondering if, if I'm good enough to represent the Leeward Islands. And, you know, I really went over there and I just believed in my skills, you know, because these are the same skills that I've been working really hard on. And it's the same thing now. You know, I won't be thinking about if I'm good enough, I'll just go out there and I've been working and just trust my skills to take me forward. Your cricketing heroes are hero and sporting heroes in general. In general, Sir so Vivian Richards. Uh, I really respect him. He is. He's a legend of the game, a true great, and what I think separates Viv Richards from the rest is the mentality towards the game. You know, he genuinely felt as if he just, he's just good, you know, and this is a mentality that I'm trying to adapt, I'm trying to create for myself. You had some fun with the King the other day, you gave him a fist bump and your brother gave him something a little bit more elaborate. How much fun was that? And uh, it's obviously gone around the world now. Yeah, um, it's made, it's circles on social media and I really wasn't expecting that, that amount of traction but it's, it was good fun. Um, it was a great experience for me, you know, from somebody who a year ago 
I was um, helping on my parents, you know, selling bananas and on the farm and so forth, to meeting the king now. So that was that was really great for me. But um, the king, he was in good spirits, you know. I was a little shocked that he was such a, a jovial person, and that was good for me.